Okay, so I don't expect anybody to be listening live to this. Uh, obviously, if you are, that's fine. But um, this is just answering a question that Fliss had. Oh, hi, Fliss, you there? Yeah, hi. Oh, okay, cool. I'm, so I'm just about to run through the question that you asked. So I'm just recording it so that you can watch it later or uh, other people can as well. So this was your question. Three times 10 to the minus three minus six times 10 to the minus five. You start off by converting both of these to small numbers, because obviously they're small because we've got the minus powers. So I've set up the zeros to the left-hand side of both, and then I've hopped across the appropriate number of places. So I know you know how to do that. So 3 times 10 to the minus 3, once it's converted to a normal number, is 0 0.003. And similarly, 6 times 10 to the minus 5, pop the zeros down, pop five places, you get 0 0.00006. Hopefully you're okay with that. So we've now got to take the first one and take away the second one. So that's what I've done down here in green. So 0 0.003, take away 0 0.00006. Now this may be the bit that you've been getting wrong. So in order for us to be able to do the taking away, I've, I've popped in these other two zeros, so we've got our columns sorted out. And that's fine, you know, you can add zeros at either end after the decimal point. So zero take away six we can't do, so I've had to borrow from this column. So in order to do that, I've, gone and, I've then had to go and borrow from this column. So that three became two, giving me then ten this column here, then I can borrow from that 10, giving me the 9, and then I borrowed so I've got my 10 over in this column. So you'll just need to check the list that you understand what we've done there. Well, sure, we've really gone from it being 300 to 2910. Right, now we can do the taking away, because our numbers at the top are bigger than the numbers on the bottom. So 10 take away 6 is 4. 9 take away 0 is 9, 2 take away 0 is 2, 0 take away 0 is 0, 0 take away 0 is 0. So we've got a final answer in normal number format of 0 0.00029. Now we're going to have to put that back into standard form. So another skill you've practiced really well. So the decimal point has to be there because the first number has got to be between 1 and 10. Our opening number is 2.94, therefore. And how many hops is the, uh, the decimal point done to move from where it starts to where it finishes? That's three hops. So that's 2.94 times 10 to the minus three. Remember, it's the minus because um, it's a small number. So Fliss, w which bit of that do you think you were getting stuck on, the, the red bit or the green bit? Uh, the green bit I think uh, yeah yeah well, have another go if you want I mean you're obviously spending a lot of time on math so please don't feel that you need to you know if you've got 75 percent already on this that's a perfectly acceptable score but if you do want to go back and just try and improve your mark again that's great but please don't feel that, that you have to I, I don't want you spending you know lots and lots of time on maths more than you really want to okay all right Cheers, Chris. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye.